my financial situation is like this cloud that's over me all the time. Sometimes it's like I can't afford to eat three meals a day, um, like that happens pretty regularly. For a university student, Misha McCartney lives an unusually quiet life. I don't buy coffees. I don't like go out for dinners with friends. Very isolated in a lot of ways, just because, I mean, enjoying life inherently, like there's a bit of a cost. She works a casual job and gets the government payment, Oz study. But the final year paramedicine student says she's barely living above the poverty line. How would you describe your financial situation right now? It's shit. It's unsustainable. How do you expect an adult human being to live off of nothing? Misha says financial stress has started impacting her ability to study. I'm not able to focus or concentrate as much as I had previously. I have to repeat, repeat, repeat um, to be able to recall information that I used to just look over a few times um, and be able to recall it. My results have definitely gone down, not through lack of trying, which is quite frustrating. This issue is the same. No matter what state you're in, no matter what city you're in, students are struggling. Students are really across the country calling out about rent prices, about job seeker and youth allowance, and in particular about just making sure they have enough for food. 7.30 sought responses from universities across the country about the financial pressures on their students. More than 20 responded. Almost three quarters acknowledged the rising cost of living was having an impact. A third reported increased demand for financial assistance. We've seen an enormous increase in students applying for our financial hardship uh, scholarships and bursaries and our equity scholarships. Uh, in fact, last year alone, we provided over 2,000 students with equity and hardship scholarships. That amounted to over $4 million. So that's the largest amount that we've ever given out. At the University of Sydney, demand for groceries from this pantry service has increased by 400% this semester alone. We started Food Hub in the middle of last year with $5,000. And for this year, we've committed to funding $75,000 for Food Hub. And that's now a permanent line item in our budget. Bangladeshi student Noshin Fazana is one of many regular visitors to the University of Sydney's Food Hub. We can go there and do uh, free groceries uh, two, twice a week. So every uh, day, every time when uh, they're available, I go there to shop uh, necessary stuff from there. She's on a Commonwealth Government scholarship specifically for students from developing countries, which pays her tuition fees and gives her a fortnightly stipend for living expenses. With nearly 60% of that budget used for rent, things are tight. It was a bit shock for me that uh, seeing all the living expenses started to lowering down my expectations. I started to live a minimalistic life. So I don't have back support in my country. Um, and as well as my parents will not be able to support here, uh, considering uh, the currency that back in my country and the living expenses here. Even doing laundry has become a luxury at $7.50 a load. I do laundry once a week and I, I use my smell tester for it. Like if it, it doesn't smell too bad, I do start to wear clothes uh, until that time. And I also share my uh, laundry with one of my friends so that we can share the money of uh, laundry. In July, Notion's scholarship allowance will increase by $12.30 a day. It's the first rise in 10 years. Most international students are living in like dire financial circumstances. They don't get access to any sort of youth allowance. They get access to a lot of scholarships. Um, and they definitely don't get access to any like rental assistance payments. 
Last month, the government's own economic advisory committee said in a report that the current rate of youth allowance is seriously inadequate. It recommended a substantial increase to the base rate be the first priority in next week's federal budget. Social Services Minister Amanda Rishworth told 7.30 the government is considering these recommendations as part of the budget. Education Minister Jason Clare acknowledged cost of living pressures are a real issue for students. Paramedicine student Misha is in the middle of a five-week unpaid placement required by her degree. The only way she's able to get through it is with financial help from her uni. I was able to access a um, $1,000 grant, which is like a once-off payment, um, which I just had to prove basically that um, I couldn't support myself for that period. And then also I asked for food support, um, which it was a $150 food voucher, like a digital card to use at any grocery store. She says without increased long-term support from the government, many students may be forced to reconsider university altogether. I know plenty of people who've had to drop out of their degrees because they couldn't afford it. Had I known the struggle that I would have prior to enrolling into the degree, I don't know if I actually would have continued on with it.